Throwing water balloons can be fun, but to win a water balloon war, you need to get some serious distance. In this weekend project, we'll build a very simple PVC air cannon to launch your water balloons farther than you thought possible. To build the water balloon cannon, you'll need these simple parts. And these tools. First off, cut the PVC pieces. There are four pieces of PVC pipe used to build the cannon. This is the easiest part of the build. Next, the valve stem needs to be installed in one of the 10 inch sections of pipe. Drill a hole that is smaller than the valve stem and wiggle the stem into place. Start with a smaller hole, since you can always enlarge it if it doesn't fit. Once the valve is seated, you'll glue the cannon together. Since this project will be under pressure, we'll be using both primer and cement to join the components. Gluing PVC isn't too tricky, but it can be messy. Set something on the floor to catch any drips. Also, this stuff is nasty. Use a respirator if you aren't outside. Before gluing, lay the parts out in their final configuration. Apply the purple primer to both the outside of the pipe and the inside of the fitting. Give it a few seconds before coating both surfaces with the cement. Quickly insert the pipe into the fitting. Press them together. Turn the fitting quarter of a turn and then hold it in place for 15 seconds. Repeat the process for each connection. Your cannon is now all glued up, but before using it, it's important to let the cement fully cure. Check the label on your cement, but you may need to wait up to 24 hours for a full cure. Once the cement has cured, the cannon is ready for use. Make sure to close the valve before loading the cannon, otherwise your water balloon will fall into the pressure chamber. Next, pour in about 4-5 to five cups of water into the barrel. This is an important step which prevents the water balloons from exploding on exit. Fill a water balloon until it is about 2 inches wide and drop it into the barrel. You may need to experiment to find the size that works the best. Now it's time to pressurize the air chamber. Use a bicycle pump or a compressor with a pressure gauge. The gauge is important to prevent overfilling. 20 to 30 psi is a good amount of pressure. More pressure has the potential to be dangerous. Once the chamber is pressurized, open the valve with one quick motion and watch your balloon really go the distance. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.